Sloths sleep up in trees. They don't have beds to sleep in, so they'll curl up into a ball or they'll hang from a branch and find anywhere to sleep. And if you're wondering why they don't fall out, it's because of their sharp claws. Look at them. They grip on even when they're fast asleep. Every baby animal has its own special place to sleep. First up, the Congo. The animals that you and I are most like are the great apes. Gorillas, chimpanzees, and these orangutans from Sumatra. But unlike us, they all make their beds up in the trees. This orangutan baby already knows her way around the treetops, but she'll need to rely on mum to teach her how to make a bed up here. Every evening, she watches her create a mattress by bending branches together. Hey, that's your pillow you're eating. Never mind. She'll share a bed with mum until she's eight years old. So she has plenty of time to learn. Beds also make good umbrellas. But <laughs> that takes some practice too. <laughs> Keep trying. The smallest of the great apes are called bonobos. In her forest home in Africa, this bonobo mum is also teaching her son how to make his bed. And like lots of children, he'd rather be having fun than helping his mum out. When she's done, mum takes a well-deserved nap. <sighs> but it's hard to rest with a toddler who just wants to play. I guess she'll have to try again later. Elsewhere in Africa, gorillas are also using branches to make nice springy beds. Sleeping in a tree is actually very sensible. It's warmer up here than it is on the ground, and there's plenty to eat if you fancy a midnight feast. Mm. But poor old Dad is too heavy to sleep up in the trees, so his bed's on the ground. Whatever type of ape you are, it can take a long time to learn how to make your own bed. But until you figure it out, you can always snuggle up next to Dad. Baby animal.